Welcome to another episode of IHNA and IHM Career Australia. I'm Vinesh Palan. Phew, it's been a rough few weeks for us uh, with the COVID-19 situation uh, creating havoc all across the world. Um, this might probably not be a right uh, time to discuss about careers, but it is an important uh, time to discuss what we can do at the moment. Yes, markets are falling all across the world and the same is applicable in Australia as well. But it doesn't mean that the market has shut down. I've been talking to multiple recruiters, I've been talking to many uh, hiring managers and um, there are some market, markets that are still hiring. For example, e-commerce companies like Kohl's and Woolsworth, they're hiring like crazy at the moment. There's a lot of demand in that space. Bunnings is another company that's, uh, that has a lot of activity at the moment and they're doing great in the business aspects. But in general, most companies are slowing down and because there is a uncertainty across what next, um, there is a general downturn um, all across this place. But this doesn't mean, if you're a job seeker, this doesn't mean that you have to get complacent, and binge, sit at home and, you know, binge on Netflix 24 hours. That's not the time for this. Uh, yeah, we are all practicing social distancing and there are a lot of evils that are coming along with that. Uh, for example, you tend to sit in your couch for the whole day, which has a huge physical and mental impact on you. So it's very important uh, that you focus on the right things. Uh, in one of my online catch up, we all are evolving right now. There are tons of webinars happening. Uh, there are, uh, you know, events that meetups that used, used to happen in, in the city are now going online. There are webinars. I've evolved too. You know, I've been doing my uh, weekly walks. I've converted that into online webinars and my monthly meetup is an online webinar right now as well. So everyone is evolving and it's important that you evolve too. So I was talking to a student on how uh, or why they are not uh, coming out and wh why they are, they are less uh, visible on the networking events and I got some interesting insights from him. Uh, what he said is right now the general perception is nothing can happen so what's the point of networking? Networking is intimidating I agree to that uh, so um, you know if you're not looking for a job if there's no job out there why are uh, why why should we network plus there are a lot of other issues as well the priorities have changed people are struggling to survive with the part-time jobs cut down there, there are a lot of issues around it but um, for me, I think the perception, there, it's a wrong perception that you're looking networking as a job search tool. During this social distancing time, it's important that you talk to people. Humans are social creatures. They have to talk to people. Even though you think you're an introvert and you're comfortable sitting at home, no, that's not the case. There, are, there is a lot of stuff that can happen when you talk to people. The webinars that I attend to, people are just happy to see another face and talk to people, even, even though it's not an easy thing to do. And video as well, you know, it's very important that you come up on video, whether, whether it be a one-on-one one -on -one catch up, a webinar or anything of that sort. It's very important at this time that you be comfortable uh, being in front of a video. The reason is that the situation we are in, we have no idea when this will end. Could take months and if any interviews happen at all in the future that will definitely be a video interview so make sure that you're using the uh, time right now to prepare yourself to get comfortable on the video now what can you do during this time right that's a big question um, if you're thinking you can still apply it for jobs and something will happen uh, that's very unlikely at this moment right because th there are multiple uh, issues to it People, um, there are a lot of people who are getting laid off right now, right? The market is going down, a lot of companies shutting down, a lot of industries shutting down completely. And that means many more people are coming into the job market. So if you are a migrant and if you are, all, if you are already struggling to find, find a job due to various reasons like local experience, cultural fit, etc, etc, you are a bit more disadvantaged at this point. So the market is shrinking. There is an influx of people who are already in the market, who were already established in the market, who has good connections with people. So there is a bit of friction over there. So this, uh, th the same would be when the market comes back as well. They will, you will have to compete with a bigger pool. So you have to be ready right now. You have to prepare yourself right now. I was reading this quote the other day. At the end of the shutdown, if you haven't learned a new skill, it doesn't mean you don't have time. 
it means you lack discipline. So it's very important that you utilize this time uh, to make an impact. So what can you do right now, right? Um, to figure that out, that's up to you. You can do hundreds and hundreds of things right now. So upskilling, there are tons of online websites who have gone free. LinkedIn Learning is offering a lot of free courses. There's a website called Plural Site. They're, uh, they're uh, offering free courses for a month as well. So there are a lot of uh, avenue where you can uh, improve your online skills. There are tons of webinars happening now. Every other person is doing a webinar. So follow a set of people who you think are important to you in your domain or important to your skill set and follow them, interact with them, be particip participate in their webinars and engage with them. That's another way to do it as well. So remember, everyone is going online. Everyone is has a lot of time as well. So they're trying to interact and this would be a right time to build a lot of relationships. Another thing that you have to focus is on your physical and mental care, which is absolutely important. Remember, you're not getting out of your house now, so your physical health is in danger right now. So make sure you do some uh, some stretches, yoga, fitness, walking, uh, whatever works for you, make sure that you're involved in it and you have to intentionally act on it. Don't think that, hey, maybe I'll do it tomorrow, maybe I'll do it. No, now is the time, you have time right now, you have nothing else to do, so make sure you uh, invest in physical uh, exercises as well. Mental um, well-being is something that people disregard a lot. I'm pretty sure you spend most of the time right now in front of the news or binging on Netflix. This is not helping you at all. Uh, watching new, too much news is bad for you. You, are, you keep worrying, keep thinking, you keep worrying about things that you can't control, that you, have, you, you absolutely can't do anything. Yes, you have to watch the news, but limit how long you watch it and make sure you're doing something productive. And that's where you have to intentionally do something productive. It could be anything. It could be anything that makes you happy. It could be cooking, it could be dancing, it could be painting, it could be anything, literally anything that makes you happy. If you, if you are good at writing, if you write, a, write a blog post, write a LinkedIn post, anything at all, right? Make sure that your brain is happy, make sure that you're engaged, make sure that you're productive. And the important aspect of this is unless you intentionally act, nothing is going to happen. There's, there's no one to push you. There is no social pressure on you because you are sitting at a home and you are controlling who you are right now. So imp very important that you act, you plan accordingly. Say, take a sheet of paper, see for the next one week, what can you do? I can cook, uh, learn to cook something. I can uh, learn a special course. Uh, I can write an article, I can create a website, I can do a mini project, write it down, follow it for the next one week. That should be your target. That should what uh, uh, that should be what you're focusing on right now. Now, again, the world is uh, going in a confusing rate right now. We have no idea where we are going to end. And this show also will evolve accordingly. So we are also moving online. We will have guests from all over the world trying to help us, trying to explain what we can do at the moment. How will the market recover? What can you do to get more attention right now? Is there something special you can do? Is there something you can't do? Or what will happen next, right? So in the, coming, uh, in the following weeks, we will be inviting guests from all over the world who will help us decode what to do. So in the following episodes, I'll, I'll be inviting a, a few coaches who can help us understand why we are or why individually we are feeling what we are feeling right now. That's also very important. If you can decode why you're so frustrated, why you're depressed at the moment, then you can act on it. So that will we'll have, we'll have a coach who will discuss uh, these aspects um, with us. Um, I'll also uh, bring in a video coach who will help us to decode how to appear uh, in front of a video, where to look when you are um, uh, capturing, uh, doing a Zoom call or an interview or whatever it is. What lighting should it be? Do you need headphones or can you do without, without the headphones? Uh, where should the camera be placing? So we'll discuss all these aspects uh, with the video coach. And finally, I will also, uh, we'll also invite some recruiters to give us a perspective about how the market is going and what the future looks like. And they will also help us understand what is the best way to reach recruiters at the moment, right? Because all recruiters are going online, they are more active online. So how can you effectively reach them? How can you 
uh, effectively establish a connection with them. Keep in mind that they might not be able to uh, offer you a job, but that connection, that relationship will be very important when the market uh, jumps back. So we will be uh, exploring different avenues to decode what's happening right now and what you can do as a job seeker, what you can, um, how you can uh, make most of the time that you have right now and make sure that we all uh, sail through this together. So it's, it's also very important, uh, or I would say the first step for if you're a job seeker, the first step, or even if you're working at the moment and things are going bad at your work, the first step is to accept the fact. Everyone is impacted. Everyone in the world is impacted. You, me, everyone, everyone is impacted. So let's accept the fact that life won't be normal in the next few months. That's a start, right? So accept the fact, stop worrying about what will happen tomorrow. Uh, will I get, when will I get a job? Will I lose my job tomorrow? Will I, um, will I have to have a pay cut? Ev anything is possible, you know? Anything is possible tomorrow, or, or even would you get the infection? Would it get worse, you know? Anything is possible. So it's important as a start, accept this fact. Now let's see what we can do, right? So you have to have a step-by-step, step-by-step um, um, step agenda of what you can do in the coming weeks. That's very important because no one is going to help you. No one knows what to do. So you have to control what's going on next, right? So in the next one, two weeks, okay, now there's no point in, oh, so this would be my thought process. Okay, this is no, there is no point in worrying about uh, my job search. I, I can still continue applying, but it's very likely that I won't get a response. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but being ready for that will change your mindset and hopefully the rejection or the ghosting or the silence would not impact you as bad as it used to. So very important as a first step, accept the fact and then go on to the uh, uh, steps that I mentioned earlier, you know. For the next two weeks, what can you do? Very important and focus. Uh, I know it's very hard getting up in the morning or doing stuff, it's very hard, but write it down and make sure that you have some action items for the next couple of weeks so that um, you are engaged, um, you don't feel lost, you don't feel frustrated. Everyone feel, I know everyone feels it, but these are a few steps that you can do to make things better. So. Um, some common questions that I get is why bother networking during this time, right? Um, there's no job on offer. Probably there's no job on offer. Why would you network? Why would you talk to people? Um, during one of my um, online catch-ups, I got a real-life example of how this can impact you. So sometimes recruiters come for these online catch-ups, and you know, it uh, people get a chance to interact with them. Uh, people get a chance to ask questions to them directly. So this one particular person, um, he was surprised that, yeah, because he was a part of this catch-up or this webinar, they could interact, just, just a brief catch-up, right? Br brief chat, and what that led to is, um, they could connect offline on LinkedIn. Now, when that happens, it's easier for uh, the connection to grow, as in, now they, ha they have already connected, they know that they had a chat uh, during this webinar and they will be, both of them will be open for a chat right now, right? So that, uh, so with um, what happened there is that recruiter actually helped him connect to another recruiter who is hiring in his domain. The, the recruiter that he met during the webinar was not hiring in his domain, so they couldn't have been really of help, right? But the connections help uh, or rather the recruiter helped them connect to uh, another recruiter who recruits in that uh, field. So that is kind of what happens when you network. Online, offline or whatever, uh, the impact is the same. You can connect to people and it opens doors that you, that you probably didn't imagine that exist, right? So it's very important that you continue networking. I would always say continue networking, not, for, not just for job sake, to make you feel better, to make others feel better, to learn more and to keep you engaged in this during these uh, tough times. There's no excuse for not doing things right now. I understand there are a lot of hardships you are probably 
uh, struggling to find work at the moment, you're probably struggling to survive, but people are ready to help. You know, I've see, I'm seeing a lot of Facebook groups coming up with offering help, helping hands, you know, whatever it is. So reach out. I know it's hard to reach out, but just say, hey, I need a help and people will come, uh, you know, rushing for, uh, with help for you. But it's important that you go get out and take care of yourself, you know, while people are, uh, you know, really want to help, it's also important that you take that one step so that someone will hold your hands and take you along uh, to the journey. So that's important as well. So don't um, uh, just sit at home and procrastinate about all the good things. Do things right now, write down things, see what you can do and go for it. If you have any questions at all for us, or if anyone across the world would like to be part of our uh, show, trying to help us decode what's happening right now, please write to us at careeraustralia at m4tv.com.au. Um, I'll see you soon next week. Until then, bye-bye, stay safe.